Hi, I'm Leslie McVean. Welcome to another CTN Member Highlights. Today, I have Dietlin Vanderskaff with me from Mecca High. Hi, nice to see you again. I can't believe it's been a whole year since we sat here talking about the fashion show. <laughs> I and, know. And here we are again. And last year, um, you had two events. Yep. And you're, you're combining it this year yes. and calling it... Mechamorphosis. Mechamorphosis. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about how well, it's Well, it's actually work. a name we've used for other things in the past, but mm -hmm. it's just so perfect it really fits. Um, so, like you said, last year we had two separate events. We had um, our fashion show, which was in April, and then we had art honors, which we typically always have in May, right before commencement. Um, so this year we're moving to a slightly different model, really keeping it focused on our mission, and that is what we're calling Mechamorphosis. So it's a celebration of our graduating class. Um, we require our graduating students to mount a thesis installation. So between the MFA thesis installation and the BFA thesis installations, we'll have over 100 participating artists under one roof, we're saying. So it's really the first three floors of the building. Um, and then we're also going to have the fashion show take place during the event. Um, it is a separate ticketed um, portion of the event. It's a slightly higher price than coming into Mechamorphosis itself. Um, and that will take place during the evening from 7.30 to 8.30. And in the meantime, Will people be able to still look at the art if they don't go to the fashion sure. show? Sure. So it's the first portion of the evening, which is the general ticket, mm -hmm. um, it's a general admission is $25, and that's from 5.30 to 7.30, and then you have access to the first three floors of Porches. So the, um, the ICA, the Institute for Contemporary Art, that's where the MFA thesis will be. And then in June Fitzpatrick, Zan Head, and the Friedman Galleries, as well as throughout the halls, and in Artists at Work, we'll have um, all of our BFA thesis work and that'll also be on the second floor and third floor and then we'll have cash bars and tapas and past hors d'oeuvres uh -huh. and we'll have a photo booth that's being provided by Maine Home and Design which is really exciting I just got the props for that um, and we'll also have roving musicians and live film screenings in Osher so there's really an interactive wow. component to the evening and it's really showcasing the work of our students which is exciting yeah. um, so. And it sounds like the place to be. I think so. And to see all this, these up-and-coming artists, their work, I think right that's, there. I think that's the. I think you've really hit it there because I mean I've been saying to people, you know, you can go to a lot of group shows in Portland, but how often can you see a hundred artists under mm -hmm. one roof? Uh. So that's really exciting. And integrating the fashion show just felt so appropriate to us because the fashion show is um, is also it's we have our first graduating student mm -hmm. who's a major in the program, and. Um, and so f it, the work that she's going to have on the runway is her thesis work, mm -hmm. too. So it's really interactive in yeah. that regard. And a little different from last year when yes. um, you had Roxanne Quimby's collection. Exactly. And um, had a sale because you hadn't had a class yet. This is true. And Roxanne Quimby is really, um, you know, the reason we have the program mm -hmm. at the college now, which at the time was just a beginning program and is now actually a major that we offer. So um, she's a really wonderful and generous donor to the college. And what she also allowed us to do last year was take this collection of vintage and couture dresses that she had and use that as a way to sort of have a catalyst for our fashion okay. show. We also did incorporate student work last mm -hmm. year, but it was such a beginning program that we didn't have enough to create a fashion show just around the student work. And then last year it was also different as we work with our alums. So we had put a call out to alumni that if they wanted to create something that, that could be on the runway, they could do that as well. This year it's strictly our students. So we uh -huh. have um, five majors and then we have a lot of um, students who are in electives within the program too. So uh, That sounds really exciting. Yeah. And these are the fashions that we may see on the the runways in Paris and New York down the road. I certainly these, hope so. These. But I think one thing that's also really interesting about our program is it's not just fashion design too, it's also textile. Mm -hmm. So um, I recently went up into the studios and interviewed our first graduating major and I was just amazed to see that she was actually creating the fabric from which she was designing this these series of coats that she's doing. So she was literally a weaving on a, on a hand knitting machine to create this beautiful fabric and then she was doing something called fulling which is a little different than felting to mm -hmm. actually make the material. Oh, well I'm excited about it. It sounds wonderful, Thank the you. chance to see 
beautiful art yes. and have a, a fun evening. Yes, and absolutely. one more time, yep. how can we find out more about it? Yes, thanks for asking. So you can go to um, mecca.edu backslash mechamorphosis, or okay. you can contact me in the Advancement Office, Dietland Vanderscaf, 207 699 5012. Well, it sounds great. Thank you so much for Thank telling you, us Leslie. about it. Thank you. All right.